Good evening, everybody. It is 1026 here in Florida. I just wanted to come on with a short video. This is from Lashara Pinckney. Uh, she's a dear sister in Christ, and she knows that, you know, I've been trying to put this teaching together, uh, trying to show who Josephus is and from what culture he came from and what his biases were um, and uh, what was being taught back then, uh, which is... Um, false Jewish fables, and I said, I did say Jewish, okay, and um, so she made a video, bless her heart, I love her so much, uh, backing me and backing Amanda, because, you know, Amanda's mirroring some of the videos that I have done also, but anyways, I'm, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and play this, because, you know, she is a very mature um, Christian also, uh, Lashara and I are very, very, very much alike in our doctrine and the way we were, you know, trained up in the Word of God. So anyways, without further ado, here we go. I'm sure. Um, Second Thessalonians, I believe. I'll find it. I'll look it up. I'll put it below. Um, it goes, with all deceivableness and unrighteousness, for them that perish, for they did not receive the love of the truth, so that they may not perish. You guys, catching up with Sherry and trying to catch up on videos, she's trying to study and put out contradictions to the book of Enoch and uh, expose, I guess you will, who Josephus really is and how he plays a role in the deceivableness and the un. We'll talk about the unrighteousness in a minute and show the truth through the word, how it lines up with simple doctrine. Um, not only her, but Amanda. Simple doctrine, doctrine, Christianity 101, contradictions, contradictions to the word, line upon line, precept upon precept, simple concepts of the Christian theology, historic, historically, uh, and they are getting opposition. You guys, the word says, for they receive not the love of the truth. Jesus is the truth, love, and every good thing personified, including the word. He is the word made flesh. Amen. You have to believe that the word of God is true, and he'll prove it to you. He will. If you believe, Amen. if you have even a mustard seed of faith as a babe and believe that the word of God is true, the Lord will prove it to you. Because he wants you to tell others. That's right. He wants you to testify to the truth of the word. And Jesus is the word made flesh. If there are things that directly contradict um, the doctrine of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's actually your duty because you can be deceived with all deceivableness. And not only that, you can deceive others. You have to want to love the truth. And the word of God is true. And if, it, it, even when you don't feel like studying, you have to read at least. Some people just begin at, you know, reading. And the Lord continues to draw them in, uh, maybe out of curiosity. Then he'll begin to... Um, lead you to study the word. You have to be able to rightly divide the word. If not, because you can be deceived and you can deceive others. And uh, uh, unrighteousness, we are made righteous through Jesus Christ. If you become a stumbling block unknowingly uh, to someone who may not be 
a, a, a believer who hasn't accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that's a soul lost for the kingdom. Amen. We have to read the Word of God. We have to study the Word of God. The Lord himself can uh, show you how to... Um, he'll lead you in studying the Word of God. He'll Amen. begin to show you how to study if you don't have any help. Um, people are not wanting to receive the truth. They don't have the love for the truth. Uh, Jesus wants you, God wants you to love the truth. And that's why he will prove the word of God to you. It's going to be a great tool for you to witness to other people and let them know that the word of God is true. But if you don't know the word and uh, are open to untruths, it's very dangerous, you guys. And now is not the time. Uh, the harvest are, is plenty. The laborers are few. And I guarantee you, those who have been led to labor and do the assignments and expose the, uh, the, the, the deceivableness and the, un, the unrighteousness, unrighteousness of them that perish because they loved, they loved not the truth. Amen, girl. I can guarantee you the Lord doesn't have them on assignment for nothing. It's time to go. It's Praise time God. to uh, get awake. It's time to stay awake. It's time to be able to know the word of God. They're trying to um, take away the sale of what guns and Bibles. You got to have the word of the Lord written on your heart. So now is the time to study the word of God. He can accelerate your, your, your learning. Um, I, 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 he's pouring out his spirit on all flesh, those who haven't come yet into the kingdom and those who are coming into the kingdom. Now's the time to just press into God and, and know the word of God and uh, not be so quick to not learn. His word. Don't be ever learning and never, uh, what's the scripture? Never receiving. <laughs> Drew a blank. Ever learning and not coming into the knowledge. knowledge. I don't remember. The full knowledge of the you Lord know what Jesus I'm talking Christ. About. Yes, I do, honey Guys, girl. Please, please don't give people hard times. I can see these were false prophets and people who didn't study and people who didn't take the time to um, show the truth. I had my own opposition. I've already talked about this as led by the Lord. Never knew anything about it. It don't sound right. There's no way you could read the word of God and, and say and claim that you have some type of understanding, even at a, a babe level, and not see the contradictions that angels are the, 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 the mediator between man and God, as stated in the book of Enoch. That's blasphemy. That's direct contradiction to the entire grace of and gospel message of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only mediator between God and man. Amen. Period. Amen. He's our Savior. He's our Redeemer. The only mediator between God and man. No man can see God without Jesus as Savior. Amen. You guys, this thing got me stirred up. I'm going to try to find this. Uh, if anyone has any, wants to see any um, other material, I will try to gather these things. I don't, that's the Lord knows that I love the truth. I love the word of God. Amen. I do. And I don't like to see it be messed with. He placed me under the authority of my deacon, whose, whose favorite saying is, don't play with God. To play with God is to play with, with God's word. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the word made flesh. Amen. Dwelling who dwelt among men. Mm -hmm. That's number one in my book. I don't like to see people play with the word of God or deny the truth of the word of God. And I just want people to not cause others to stumble and for people to get the real truth because time is short. Yes. Okay, you guys, I love you guys. I probably went off on a tangent. Tired of having to slept. That dream. God bless you, honey. That the realness of that dream done pit fire underneath me.
Um, <laughs> it's overdue. Y'all will be seeing my face. I'm going to be here until we go home, which is soon. Okay, you guys? Talk with you later. Amen, LaShara. I tell you what. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> you didn't go off at a tangent. You said what needed to be said. See you. That's what I had to say about that. Um... Yeah, you guys, he is the word. He is the word. He's the written word. He is the spoken word in the beginning of the garden where God said, God said, God said, let there be, let there be, let there be. We cannot add to, we cannot take away from what the word is. We cannot have vain imaginations about the word. Okay, so he is the spoken word in the in the book of Genesis. He is the written word. This is an eternal document that has already been set in heaven before it was put here on earth. There is nothing that is incomplete about our word. There was only one book that was missing in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And by the way, the Dead Sea Scrolls of the Masoretic Text the manuscripts, the original manuscripts of the Old Testament and the New Testament were right there in that cave and they were together and they were separate from the, the Gnostics. Okay, they were separate. Now, the word, like she said, became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So we've got the spoken word, when God created everything in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and everything that was made was made by him, through him, and for him. And so it's an eternal document, you guys, so it's the spoken word. He spoke things into existence. Jesus, Elohim, okay, and then he wrote the word. It's an eternal document. And then he became, the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we cannot distort, blaspheme, and add to or take away what is in scripture with our vain imaginations. Uh -uh. It's against the word of God. But anyways, I just wanted to... Uh, show you that there's another sister on board and um <laughs> Lashar is back <laughs> she's been very busy you guys very very busy she's a very hard worker i love her so much um but she's uh she gets fired up she'll let you know it <laughs> and there ain't nothing wrong with it because that's called a righteous indignation for our lord that was the time where you see Jesus got angry was when, you know, the, you know, the uh, tax collectors and the thieves were on the Temple Mount and they were making our Lord's house a den of thieves. OK, and he, you know, he didn't go and take his pinky and knock over their tables. No, he whipped them with cords. And he he went through that place like a like a tornado and told them how dare you all right so you know it, it this is a hard truth but it is the truth we have to stick to scripture you know that's all there is to it but anyways i hope you guys have a blessed night i saw this and i was like well bless her little heart because she knows, I told her, I said, a man and I are both in opposite, are having opposition um, to me speaking the truth and to Amanda speaking the truth um, about the doctrine of demons that is the book of Enoch. But anyways, you guys have a blessed night. Amen and amen.